Hey Keepers, this is Alberto from ARS Goalkeeping, and we're going to look at some drills today that you're welcome to use to get back into the net. Anyone knows that not practicing for even a few weeks can be killer to goalkeepers, and the first few days back are difficult to deal with, especially catching up with the speed of the game. In any situation where the keeper has lost confidence or comfort in the net from either a bad performance or a long break, the best bet is to work on simple foundation drills that focus on building up from a strong base. The first session we are looking at is all about footwork and handling. Feet that haven't been training will be sluggish and heavy, making it harder to get your body behind the ball and make that proper catch. Handling is always a non-negotiable. If the shot is coming to a keeper's frame, a hold must be made. Practicing simple holds from several angles is worth the work and must be done at all times. If you have paid close attention to the video, you might have noticed that the sessions slowly become more complicated building on each previous exercise. The key for the servers in each exercise is to provide a hard, solid service to the keeper's frame, and the main objective for the keepers is to hold on to every shot, and the best way to do that is with clean footwork. Any goalkeeper coach will tell you that repetition is a goalkeeper's best friend, and working the muscle memory of making simple holds from most diving and static positions will help you feel more relaxed and begin to get a feel for the position in goal. Remember, this is all about proper technique. Focus on holding every shot and getting behind every service. My favorite thing about foundation drills like these is that you don't need much equipment. You just need some cones and a server or two. You also don't have to work from simple to more complicated or build up on the foundation like I like to do, but I have found that slowly adding those variations to the drills helps your muscles remember what they used to do and helps you work and make a better performance towards the end of the exercises. So remember, goalkeeping is all about practice and confidence. Don't let a rough start knock you down either. Keepers who have lost confidence in net will gain a lot by holding on to several well-struck shots that come to their frame. And if you're training with another goalkeeper, maybe one of your friends, it always helps to positively reinforce the keeper you're training with. But remember to point out what needs to be done. For example, you might hear me say to one of my keepers, Great job, I like that you dove for the shot. Now let's see you dive and get both of your hands up, not only one hand going for the ball. These are just some of the drills you can start off with to get your confidence back in goal. I was lucky enough to have two top level keepers out training with me, which pushed a decent performance out of me. Make sure to challenge your keepers as much as you challenge yourself. You want to make that competition, the great competition between two goalkeepers is what makes practice so much fun. I do hope you guys liked this video and that you enjoyed the drills. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. I am more than happy to hear any of your questions or suggestions. And I hope to see you guys again very soon.